Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel MLT Lectures, where we discuss everything related to medical laboratory technology course. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In this video, we will be talking about a very important biomolecule that is amino acid in detail. At the end of this video, you will be able to know what is amino acid, basic structure of amino acid, then classification of amino bases, and properties of amino acids. Now moving to the introduction part of amino acid. Amino acids are the organic compounds containing amine that is NH2 group, carboxyl group, COOH group and the side chain R group. The major key element present in amino acids are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. There are almost 500 amino acid known but only 20 ampere in the genetic code and these 20 can be classified into many ways. This is the basic structure of amino acid containing amino group, carboxyl group and a side chain that is R. Now the amino acids, the 20 amino acids which are present in the genetic code can be classified on the basis of R group, polarity and R group on their distribution in protein according to their nutritional requirement and number of amino and carboxyl group present. Now let's look in detail about the classification of amino acid. First one is based on the R group. Simple amino acid. These have no functional group in their side chain. Example, glycine, valine, alanine, leucine, isoleucine. Next we have hydroxy amino acids. They have hydroxyl group in their side chain that is OH group. Example serine and theonine. Sulfur containing amino acid. They have sulfur in their side chain. Example cysteine and methionine. Aromatic amino acid contain benzene ring in their side chain. Example, phenylalanine and tyrosine. Heterocyclic amino acids. Having a side chain ring which possesses at least one atom other than carbon. Example of heterocyclic amino acids are tryptophan, histidine, proline. Next we have amino group containing amino acids. These are the derivatives of amino acids in which one of the carboxyl group has been transformed into a amide group. For example, aspartame and glutamine. Next subgroup is branch chain amino acid or BCC BCAA is an amino acid having an aliphatic side chain with a branch. Example, leucine, isoleucine and valine. Acidic amino acids have carboxyl group in their side chain that is aspartic acid and glutamic acid. Basic amino acid contain amino group in their side chain. Example, lysine and arginine. Amino acid. Amino acid contain a secondary amine group. For example, 
proline. Now, classification of amino acid on the basis of polarity and R group. Here, amino acid with non-polar R group. These are the hydrocarbons in nature. They are hydrophobic and have aliphatic and aromatic groups. The amino acid with aliphatic R groups are alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, proline. Amino acid with non-polar aromatic groups are phenylalanine, tryptophan, methionine. Now, next is amino acid with polar but uncharged R group. These amino acids are polar and possess neutral pH value. For example, glycine, serine, theonine. Then we have negatively charged amino acids. This kind of amino acid have extra carboxyl group with a dissociable proton. This render in electrochemical behavior to our protein. Example, aspartic acid and glutamic acid. Next one is positively charged amino acid. They have extra amino group in their side chain. They render basic nature to the protein. Example, lysine, arginine and histidine. Now, classification of amino acid on the basis of distribution in protein. Here, amino acid is classified into standard protein amino acid and non-standard protein amino acid. First one, we will look to standard protein amino acids. These are the amino acids which are used to form proteins. They are recognized by ribozyme autoamino cyclosan system. Example, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Non-standard protein amino acid. These amino acids are not required to build proteins, but they have a vital role as a metabolic intermediates. Some examples are hydroxyproline, hydroxylysine, carboxyglutamate, and we have non-standard non-protein amino acids. These are the derivative of amino acids and they also have a role in metabolism. Some example of non-standard non-protein amino acids are alpha amino butyrate, citrulline, ortholine and beta alanine. Now classification of amino acids on the basis of nutritional requirement. They are classified into essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. First, looking to essential amino acid. These are the amino acids which cannot be made by our body. As a result, they must come from food. The essential amino acids are arginine, histidine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Non-essential amino acids. These are the amino acids that can be made by humans and is also essential in human diet. The non-essential amino acids include alanine, Aspartate, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, proline, serine, and tyrosine. 
Here we can see the table of essential and non-essential amino acids in humans. Now, classification of amino acid on the basis of number of amino and carboxylic group. Monoamino, monocarboxylic amino acid. Now, we will look in example. Monoamino means one amino group along with monocarboxylic, that is one carboxylic group. These are glycine, alanine, proline, phenylalanine, methionine, serine, and threonine. This contains single NH2 group and single COOH group. Next is monoamino dicarboxylic amino acid. Here, this example are aspartic and glutamic acid. These both contains one NH2 group and two COOH group. Then we have diamino monocarboxylic amino acid. Example lysine, arginine, and histidine. This contains two NH2 group and one COOH group. Now, physical properties of amino acids. Amino acids are colorless, crystalline in nature. They are tasteless. Some are sweet, like glycine and alanine are sweet. The melting point is about 200 degrees Celsius. They are soluble in polar solvent and insoluble in non-polar solvent. They have an observance at 280 nanometer. Molecular weight ranges from 100 to 50,000 Dalton. All amino acids possess optical isomers due to presence of asymmetrical alpha carbon atoms. Some are structurally stable and sterically hindered. Amino acid possess Enzymatic activities, they also have denaturing property. Now moving to the chemical properties of amino acids. First one is decarboxylation. The amino acid will undergo decarboxylation to form the corresponding amines. Thus, amines are produced. Histidine, when undergoes decarboxylation, it forms histamine plus CO2, that is carbon dioxide. Similarly, tyrosine to tyramine along with carbon dioxide. Lysine undergoes decarboxylation to form cadaverine along with carbon dioxide. Next property we have is reaction with alkalis. The carboxylic group of amino acid can release a H plus ion with the formation of carboxylate ions. Then reaction with alcohol that is sterification. The amino acid is reacted with the alcohol to form sters. The sters are volatile in contrast to form amino acids. Reaction with dimethyl amino naphthal sulfonyl chloride. When the amino acid reacts with dancy chloride reagent, it gives a fluorescent dancy derivative. Reaction with acyl azen, acyl azen. When the amino acids react with acid chloride and acid anhydride in alkaline medium, it gives thiol 
amino acid. Now next reaction we have reaction with Sanger's reagent. Sanger's reagent is nothing but 1 fluoro 2 4 dinitrobenzene. This Sanger reagents react with alpha amino acid to produce yellow color derivative that is DNB amino acid. Next reaction we have is reaction with Edmonds reagent. Edmonds reagent is a phenyl isothiocyanate. When amino acid reacts with Edmonds reagent, it gives phenylthiohydanic acid. Finally, it turns into cyclic form that is phenylthiohydation that is also a Edmonds derivative. Thank you. Hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.